good day YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today we're doing another mega brew. We're doing uh, Sleem and Honey Brown. Sleem and Honey Brown is a 5% uh, alcohol honey lager. It is brewed in Guelph, Ontario, Canada as well as other places by the Sleeman Brewing and Malting Company. Uh, regular Sleeman bottle, just the Sleeman neck tag, and then the imprint on the bottle, which my camera pro probably can't pick up. Uh, basically, it looks kind of like honey, a uh, little bit darker than the majority of the honey you're going to get. So, I mean, color-wise, it, it looks pretty good. I'd say it looks like the Cisco honey that my workplace uses, because it's just, it pretty much has this color to it. my albino rhino glass out. Drink some honey lager out of it. So even trying to force head we don't really get much, but I've never really drank a, a honey brown that's given off too much head. A uh, little tiny bit of bubbles along the sides. else to speak of. The head isn't dwindling too fast. I mean, it is dwindling, but it's staying around for a bit of time. Hmm. There's something beautiful to behold. I mean, this beer is actually fairly recently been added to my fridge. It's not old or anything, but Look at that sediment that was left in the side of the bottle. I don't even want to pour this onto that. So we're just going to go like here. Yeah, well look at that. Can you, I hope you guys can see that. That's just kind of gross to tell you the truth. That sediment inside the bottle of this honey brown. It's, it's kind of turning my stomach to tell you the truth. Doesn't smell skunky. Sweet, malty, some hops, tiny touch of honey. Honey's in the background. I'm actually very much disturbed by that. sediment it doesn't smell bad. What's it gonna taste like? It's very malty. You can tell that there's honey in the brew. There's not much, though. It's like a drop. Just on the finish, you get that little honey sensation. Other than that, it's all malt. And a bit of bitterness in the middle. Uh, mixed pack, because I buy the Sleeman, the Sleeman mixers, which, you know, come with four different Sleeman products. I'm fine with that, just getting three of them in the mixer. I wouldn't want anything more than that. But it's not a bad beer. By that I mean it's drinkable. That maltiness is, is perfectly fine. The hoppiness in the middle is perfectly fine. That touch of honey with the uh, slightly bitter finish is, is perfectly acceptable. I'd give it a 5 out of 10. It's not, again, something I'd ever really go ahead and buy normally. But just having it around and drinking it, there's nothing wrong with that. So 5 out of 10 from the Albino Rhino here in White's Tavern with 
is Albino Rhino Glass. Thank you for watching the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Good beer drinking to you. Have yourselves a very good night.